News is just coming in from China that there has been a, another incident related to a knife in the subway in Shanghai and this knife you know the story. I'm just being very careful that um, it's possibly something that I can't really talk about on YouTube. This is the second time within a couple of weeks <clears throat> where in the northeastern part of China, there were four tourists, um, American tourists from Iowa, I do believe, uh, were had the same situation. Um, they went to hospital. I think they all did survive related to that. And so close now in Shanghai, this has happened. So the American government did actually put out a travel advisory. Do be careful when you go to China, rightly so. And possibly China says exactly the same when people go to the United States. Do be careful, um, especially if you go to Kensington Avenue, for example, on in Philadelphia. It comes to, it comes to mind in a way that has this been, or is this quite common in China? Gun um, restriction is very tight, the same as in the UK, in China, but knives, well, not. There are some stories and rumors that come out from Xinjiang, which is in the northwest of the country, that if you own a knife, you have to use an ID card to sign for it. So, is this quite common? And now it's just like getting some media attention via um, people using a VPN and posting this on Twitter or on X. Or is this just two uh, cases that happened in the space of two short weeks? I don't know. But it is something to think about. Now, I don't know the whole story of this and I'm sure more things will come out. But this is just to let you know, in one of the biggest populations in the world in Shanghai, this has happened. Shanghai has like 24 million people who live there. This is what I got translated into English just now. Someone was indiscriminately on the Shanghai subway and the entire network banned it. Be careful. So is that talking about Chinese state media? I don't know. Or are they talking about the network of the subway system? I don't know. I can guess it is going to be on the social uh, media. Uh, be careful. This is the whole thing. I did mention this in a, a video earlier today uh, that if you have a VPN, you can get an account on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. But you as a citizen who's not from China, you cannot get a social media account like WeChat, which is a little bit like Facebook. You have to be verified by a Chinese friend. Now, I have a WeChat account way back from 10 years ago, 2014. I got it in Hong Kong, didn't need it. And this is sort of like um, before you did require it. I have tried it before with my girlfriend who wanted to use WeChat, but I said I can verify, but I couldn't because I'm not Chinese and I'm not in China and I don't have a Chinese ID card, etc., etc. So it's sort of just like this one way street. Um, after the first incident last week in Jilin province, um, uh, people were saying, ah, it's a one of a kind incident. But for one to happen the week after in Shanghai, you just actually start to wonder, hmm, is it, does it happen more often than the Chinese media lets you know? I don't know. Your comments below, let me know. If you are in China and you are using a VPN, please let us know as well. It'd be very interesting to find out. God bless to all. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.